George, and today I'm going to be reading to you about Fra Angelico from the book Stories of the Saints by Carrie Wallace with illustrations by Nick Thornborough. Fra Angelico was a poor monk who gave away everything, everything he owned, and had to beg for his food. But he also loved to paint, and to him, to paint was to pray. He never touched a paintbrush without asking God for help. He started out small, illustrating the pages of books, but his illustrations were so beautiful that people began to ask him to paint the walls of churches. He spent 10 years working on the walls of a single church in Cortona, creating pictures of incredible depth and detail. In one, he painted 250 different people, all in heaven, celebrating with Jesus. Then he was called to Florence, the center of the art world in Italy. Cosimo Medici was rich, a very powerful man, who had hired some of the world's greatest artists. But when it came time to hire a painter for the convent, where Cosimo himself went for a retreat from the world, he chose Frangelico. Frangelico painted everything there. At the top of the stairs to the monk's quarters, he painted the angel who told Mary she would have a child. Above the door to each room, he painted scenes from the life of Jesus. In the chapel, he painted the altarpiece. And he painted all of it in a different way than anyone ever had. Before him, artists painted Jesus and the saints floating on brightly colored backgrounds or lost in the clouds of heaven. But Fra Angelico painted the saints in rooms and streets, talking with one another, just like other people. The paintings Fra Angelico made at San Marco were so beautiful that the Pope summoned him to Rome. He painted a cathedral chapel there and the Pope's private rooms. He even painted a private chapel for the Pope, so full of color and gold leaf that it looked like it was a jewelry box and his paintings like bright stones set in gold. No one could paint like that without first having been to heaven one of his friends said. But although Fra Angelico often spent his days in rooms full of beautiful treasures, he never forgot to serve the poor. He never took any money for himself. And every time he painted an image of the cross, he cried. Don't compare my talent with famous painters, he wrote on his gravestone. Instead, say that I gave everything to the poor. The deeds that count on earth are not the ones that count in heaven. Hundreds of years later, when Pope John Paul II declared Fra Angelico a saint, he was asked about Fra Angelico's miracles. Why do we need miracles? Pope John Paul II replied. He pointed to Fra Angelico's paintings. These are his miracles. Thank you for listening.